show my boyfriend and he was like that looks good. Yeah! Boyfriend approves. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you're new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and a YouTube channel. And today is the first episode of something really exciting that I have been working on for a while behind the scenes. And today is day one of hopefully many episodes to come. one of M Reacts and this is a new series that I'm launching which is going to be all about you guys so you might have seen all over YouTube there is hair reaction videos there is skincare reaction videos but there is no stylist specifically mid-size stylist reacts video there is a niche there that I want to tap into but I want to do my own spin on it and I don't want to be criticising anyone or being critical or trying to push my opinion onto people. I want this to be a space where it's all about giving you guys educational advice but also taking on board your feedback so if for instance something I suggest hasn't worked we won't be cutting it out, we won't pretend, be pretending it didn't happen we'll be talking about it and trying to understand why that outfit didn't work for you and what we can do to change it so on today's episode we have Megan she sent me this DM where she sent me this dress which she recreated from my look which is here put them both together and she looks amazing which you can tell I was loving by my reply um, but this is kind of where this idea came from because I absolutely loved the way that Megan looked in the dress but in my mind I was like that to me has been kind of like a transitional summer dress where I could imagine it going into autumn with a jacket but moving it forward with tights in a winter look I feel like the colour of the green personally is just a little bit too harsh I feel like it's too cold and for me, in winter, I want to be seeing like royal colours, like autumnal cranberries and royal blues and emerald greens and browns and really bringing those colours to life, which you can then put with black tights and it doesn't look too harsh. So with that in mind, me and Megan jumped on a call and it was absolutely amazing to meet her. She is so lovely and really great mindset when it comes to mid-sized bodies and body positivity and she, we had a discussion about unfollowing any accounts that were you know making us feel bad about ourselves but also pushing this unrealistic kind of view of what Instagram is and influencers and this whole toxic route that we've been going down for a long time where it's kind of like look how amazing my life is don't you wish you could be me? And for me, I really feel like things have changed, especially since the start of lockdown in March. I feel like a lot of people have had a different mindset now where, you know, we've, we've had a chance to slow down and stop and it's not about how many countries we can visit in a month or how many Louis Vuitton bags we have. It's about what matters, which is friends and family and health. And with that, people have had chance to reflect and think, do you know what, if I've gained a bit of weight in lockdown, there's a bigger, there's bigger things going on in the world than that right now. And that's really allowed for this movement to happen within the mid-sized community, plus-sized community, and just body positivity in general. We had a really nice discussion about that, which was amazing to see that we were both on the same wavelength. And, and we had a chat about lots of other things, and I'm going to show you guys our chat now. Hello! It's work. Thank you so much for doing this. This is like technology in the 21st century at its finest. I was absolutely in love with this outfit. I thought she looked amazing. And it was just so amazing to receive this message from you. So thank you so much for that. But this is kind of where the idea stemmed from, where I was like, that dress was quite summery. And now I was like, well, I really want to send Megan an alternative for a winter outfit. So this is kind of where this idea was born from and then Quiz kindly got on board and sent Megan some outfits. So how did they fit? What did you think? Do you like them? Would you choose them? Give me your feedback. So I um I literally the dress is beautiful. Like it fits so perfectly. Like where it's 
normally I would at the moment I would always go for a size 14 but seeing as it's in a 12 I was like oh god but it just complemented my boobs like around my one that's kind of why I went for it in a smaller size because I've had the si similar thing. I think we've got a very similar body shape. So when I go for a size 14 in a really flattering dress like that, that I know the fabric's going to be stretchy, if you get it in your actual size, it ends up not having the same effect. It almost needs to be quite tight to your yeah. perfect bits. And then it, it really flatters. So I'm so glad you like that one. And the colour is perfect for your skin tone and hair colour. So... I'm really glad you yeah, that it's for you and also I've got quite a big bum so like so it's a longer skater dress and the fact that like it's not it's not like you know you can't see my bum in it but I would wear it with tights anyway either being like skin colour tights or black tights because they the boots go like so well with you it love like, the boots yay oh. I'm so glad and I've only uh, this year was the first time I've actually ever bought um, some like black chunky boots because I wore them with the, with the green dress on quiz. Yeah. And um, yeah, like it just they just go so well at this time of year. Like it's amazing. That's perfect. And I think you'll be able to wear them with loads of different outfits, get loads of wear out of them. And I found that when they've got that like a little bit of sole, they are more comfortable to wear for a long period of time. It's more when it's you just dead to the floor that it really starts yeah. to hurt. So I'm glad you love them. Um, and then also, I'm sending you a jacket right now, so when this video goes live, you will have the jacket to wear with the dress. But it's um, like a biker style one. I'm so happy that that's the kind of jacket you're sending, because I've always seen them, and I've always been like, am I going to be able to pull it off, can I, or not? Because I will always buy like a bigger jacket, or like a longer cardigan, or something like that, to kind of like hide more than like to kind of be waist kind of length. Yeah. I, I'm really excited. I think it's one of those jackets where you probably won't wear it every day, but it's more like if you just need to finish an outfit off or you just want it to kind of like bring that outfit together where it's going to be like more flattering in the waist. Um, it's probably the most practical jacket as well because obviously like it's not going to keep you that warm. But I can imagine just a situation where like you're going to go for drinks or dinner or you just need to just put it all together you'll find that it'll go with loads of different outfits and it never really goes out of style so you'll have it for, for quite some time so I'm glad you like that which is good um, and then the other one we sent was the leather leggings what were the sizes like for those because I sized down on that one for you as well because they do come up really big so to be honest I did I, when I saw the email I panic ordered a size 16 because I was like oh no they don't fit so, but the size 6 so I ordered a size 16 for myself and they fit fine okay Fourteen, but I'd rather. I was like, I didn't want to not be able oh, to wear. Oh, I'm sorry. So sorry. Just let me know because I have the same ones, and the twelve was just a little bit too tight. But then yeah. the fourteen was too big. So you know, because you said similar to me with the, the sizing. So at least you've got yeah. both to try there. Then um, let me know, and I'll I'll send you the money for the sixteen as well, so you don't have to pay for them. Um, Please don't worry. No, like, of course. I don't mind at all. I, I want you to have literally not paid for anything. So let me know and I'll send you money. Um, but yeah, what did you think? Pop. So all very in style. I don't know what it's called. It's all the... It's like, like mesh. mesh. Yeah. Honestly, like, I'll see them in the store. And again, it's just something that I've just not had the confidence to try or like even really thought about where I would wear it. But I, I put it on again earlier to show my boyfriend and he was like... That looks good. Yeah! Boyfriend approves. Woo woo woo! <laughs> that made me so happy. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, again, like, because it pulls you in at the waist. Yeah. Again, well, I struggled to get it over my boobs, but uh, as soon as you pull it down, like, it fits perfect, yeah. Compliments, it goes under the bust and then it'll just come out and give you that really flattering shape. And you're not uncomfortable either. It's not like a fabric where it's kind of stiff and you're like, it's, yeah. it, it moulds to your body, so I'm so glad you like it because the sleeves, I was a little bit like concerned because I've not seen it in person and I thought, I hope the sleeves are like, I hate when they're like almost tight with the mesh, but are they quite baggy? Yeah, yeah, they, okay, they, they look, don't look like it's like some, I mean, you go to some shops and they are like over the top. Oh my God, I know. Like, <laughs> like, they're really lovely and like with the, with the leggings, with the boots, like it just looks so cool. I'm so excited. Just 
avoids that whole area and just because it goes in at the waist and so I'll always go skirt dress so I absolutely love the blue one plus like navy's not like navy's not a colour I would go for I'd always go black because colour to me is like quite scary yeah so actually I'm I'm glad you ordered some navy. Yes, navy is such a nice colour for you. It brings your brown eyes out, brown hair, it just would work. And then you can also put the black jacket on and you're not just going to look like you're just covered in black. It just breaks it up and works really well with the black tights and the boots. So I'm so glad you like it. It makes me really happy. Um, so thank you so much, Megan, for taking part in this. And hopefully I'll get more people that want to be involved with these videos and... Thank you so much. I'm so glad you like it. So, as you can see, Megan was loving the items. And it was just, like, it was absolutely perfect for me to hear because I worked, I've worked as a stylist on and off for probably over 10 years now. So I first started off as a stylist um, doing freelance styling. I went to London College of Fashion and did a styling degree. And then I was a freelance editorial stylist, which is like styling magazines, styling uh, editorials, styling lookbooks, that kind of thing. And then I moved from that and I worked as a personal shopper at Topshop Personal Shopping on Oxford Circus. And I was assistant there to a stylist and I become a, became a stylist there and then I became a shopper. Then I moved back up north and did some other bits. And then that's when I went to work as a personal shopper again for Topshop in their... Tracy store which opened and I was there for two years having people come in with a brief and saying they're going to this, they're doing this, they're doing, going to this event, they want a new wardrobe, they need a college wardrobe, they need um, an outfit for an anniversary, they just want to buy some new items for their wardrobe, they don't know what to wear and every day we'd have between three to five clients a day where I'd have to, on the spot, I'd not even seen that person until they arrived in the suite <laughs> and I'd be like Right, what can we put you in? And I will say, after two years, I probably only had one person that I really struggled with. And in that situation, I was honest with her and I was like, do you know what? Like, it was very difficult as well having just one store. So it all depended on if Topshop had a lot of stock in at that point or if we had a busy week and we'd sold out of loads of stuff. So it, it was a real challenging task. And any of the girls that are still there, I absolutely love the Topshop girls, if you are watching. Um... I cats off to you guys because it's not like a department store where you can kind of pick from loads of different brands or the luxury that I have where I can go in online stores and suggest different things. You are really limited to one shop and if that shop has not got the stock in that you need for that body body shape and that body size then you, you kind of stuck and that one day I had that one girl and I felt so bad about it. I had to be honest with her and just say we just I'm really struggling to give you what you want. Um, but other than that I had some amazing times there and I think that's kind of where this kind of like understanding of women's bodies and what colours work on people and what styles work on people's body shapes and it was almost like boot camp training to try and have to think on the spot of what to put people in. So to hear Megan say that she would never have chosen a navy colour and she would never have chosen the sleeves on that top and the sizing she was worried about but I got it all right is like I'm just so happy it couldn't have gone any better and I promise you that was the first time we chatted we didn't chat off camera or anything like that you guys have seen it all. Obviously not every appointment goes like that some things that I might see online if I've actually not seen them in person and I send them to somebody it might not be that case it might come and it might be completely awful or just misrepresented on the website but I really do pride myself on being honest and you know we do get things wrong sometimes so I'm hoping in the next episode, whoever it is that is my next guest, I get right, but I'm sure we'll find out. If you do want to get involved and you want to be a part of Emory Axe, all you have to do is either find an outfit that I have already put on my Instagram or TikTok or YouTube and say that you've recreated it in your own way or you've recreated it completely um, and tag me in it and use the hashtag, hashtag MReacts. Or, if you haven't and you are in dire need of some help, you've got an event coming up, or you have a birthday, or you just really need some help with silent advice and there's something going on in your life right now where you really just want something to cheer you up and you want some advice from me on how to feel your absolute best in an outfit, then again, use the hashtag MReacts and tell me why I should choose you for the next episode. In the next episode, I'm going to choose two people. 
doesn't have to be women, it can be men as well. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I feel like this is going to be really good, guys. And it's the best thing because I get to treat you guys, whoever I pick, I will be sending you the clothes and you get them for free. There's no catch. I send you the items and it's just amazing like to see you guys be so happy. Like Megan looks bloody amazing in those outfits. I'm so happy. So happy. So if you want to be involved, make sure you use hashtag Emreacts and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you love this idea. So I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!